Hello Aquarius, thank you very much for tuning in to your love read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. For support of Oracle Cards, Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. Stacy DeMarco. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and get these out here. Relationship first, single second. Oracle Cards come out where needed. Aquarius, yeah? Yeah. One, two, three. Well, hey. <laughs> it's good. It's like it's, it starts off good, but then, I don't know. I think you're going to be okay. <laughs> I think you're going to be okay. Um, your partner, where this starts off from, where this is coming from, is the sun. They, they're coming out of an area or out of a time when they were very, very happy. And I feel like it's something that's slipping away. Their challenge card is the Seven of Swords. Kind of like something is passing on here. Something is leaving. Ooh. Yeah, they got the world card here. The thing is, and I'm saying that because they got the Hanged Man kind of trying to eclipse the world card. The world will not be denied. The Hanged Man is a temporary state anyway. So they're, they're trying to hold on to something, but it's I feel like it's already pushing in. Things are changing. Things are going forward. They're trying to not let it happen. And the challenge card for them is to, to not do that. Um, they will to a degree, and I understand that. To a degree, they will. But like the sooner they can get on board and let things change, the sooner that this, this moment will pass. Because um, it feels like they're going to be dragging themselves to the mud, to be fair. Now, you, on the other hand, you're aware of like the change that's happening. And if I'm going to be very fair, you've got the Magician card spiritually. Like It's, it's kind of like, all right, it's time to change, time to move forward. You're pushing it forward. You've got two major arcana cards. You're creating the change, and you're ushering it in. You're like, we need to change. The sooner they let this go and accept that this is changing, the better they'll be. But I feel like they're having a very hard time with it. Now, when I'm saying that, the Three of Swords is here. Like, they really, they what what it was, how it used to be, they really loved it. Really loved it. They don't want, I feel for some of them, it's like a child growing up. It's like, there's no, they have no choice. And they're not willing to see this child as if they're maturing into a different person now. It's kind of like, you know, when a child goes from like that 12, when they're like 11, 12, and they're starting to go into teen, the teen years, and they're literally changing. Like, who they were as a child is still there, but like, their attitudes and how they handle things and who they want around them is changing really quickly. And it's like it's changing whether they like it or not. And I feel like they they don't want it to. They don't want to believe it is. And they're they're like they're having a really hard time going forward. It's breaking their heart. They got the release card here too. The release card is saying that they once they release this, it'll start changing. They'll feel better, but it's hard. I don't feel like they're going to release this very easily. But I see you. See, this is makes more sense to me. You're viewing the situation like, no, this is going to happen. You're not trying to make your partner's life difficult. I don't see that. You're accepting the change and you're, you're going with it. You're kind of like, you're grabbing a hold of the energy. Things are changing. With this change, I can do this. That's the magician looking at, this is what's in front of me. This is what I used to work with. But now some of the things, some of my tools have changed. Some of the supplies have changed. So I'm going to take my new supplies and make something different, something that suits me better with these new supplies. And you're just like, let me grab this. Let me take a hold of this. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Let's get it done. So you do it. You do that. You just move forward. Now, overall, overall, the situation feels secure to me. The Ten of Pentacles is telling me the situation itself is secure. You're standing there, and I feel like you're viewing it that way too. Like overall, if this reading is hitting, the situation is secure. Your challenge card I'm noticing is the Queen of Wands. Their challenge card was the Four of Swords, which they're not moving forward. Your challenge card is ironically moving forward too fast and not realizing that your partner is having this big hiccup. You might realize that they're kind of dragging their feet, but not realizing that they're flat out devastated about the situation because they got that card coming too, by the way. Because <laughs> they are. They're just, they really do not like this. 
They're trying to deny it's happening. They're trying to hold it where it is. They're trying to not let it advance. It's going anyway. The thing is, between the two of you, you're accepting it and they're not. You're accepting it to the point where they're like, oh, new possibilities, new resources. Let's do something with that. And here we go. They're on the other hand, like, no, 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 same resources. Nothing's changing. No, no, no. Keep it the same. No, no, no. Um, ironically, what actually helps them is the Ten of Swords. They have to hit that rock bottom. They have to be devastated. They have to realize that they loved that time and just kind of go through the mourning of it. I feel like they literally have to mourn it, that it's over. Uh, they're going to go through the, those, those five stages of mourning over this is what I'm getting. If this is hitting, I literally feel like they're going to go through those five stages of mourning. And they have to hit that rock bottom and they have to acknowledge that hunger. That's what's going to help them. Like, because I feel this bang at the moon and I, I, the wolf energy is usually teacher energy for me. I don't know. It's just in my head that way. I think there's a reason for that, but it's there. So I feel like they're learning from this. Like they are learning from this by, by addressing how they feel and the sadness that they feel that it's moving on and hitting rock bottom. They will move forward. I feel like the better part that's going to happen here down the road is where they realize you've morphed forward and you've made something new out of the new supplies, out of the new resources. And there is actually a lot more joy to still be had. It's just the last phase, it's over. It's just, it's, it's moving on. It's just kind of like another way you could put this is like somebody who's a very active in sports and they get to the age where they just can't be that active in sports like they used to, like their body's just not going to allow them to do it. And they're hitting that phase change. It's realizing, okay, I can't do that anymore, but maybe there's something else with this sport I can do. Maybe I can teach. Maybe I can do this. Maybe I can do that. You know, there's other things. Because when they get to that three of pentacles, they have to work with you to find a way to be comfortable with the next stage. They're not going to like it as much as the last stage. They're just not. The last stage was the better stage for them. That was their favorite. That was the best. They didn't want it to move on. But they have to start working with you to figure out how to fit into this next stage ironically also like this is it's weird because when you start realizing how hard it really is for them how they're really really upset about this and it's just devastating them like literally devastating them the ten of swords is there i see you with the shadow side and with the realization like literally the realization when you realize how hard this is for them like you're realizing okay i just accepted this pulled all these new resources together created something new but I can't do this yet because they can't come with me yet. My partner can't come with me yet. And I feel like you're looking at this like, well, I can't go forward now. I got all, it's like you got the Hulk, all the car packed to go to this next situation, but you're like, I can't go because they're not ready. They're going through the whole morning stages still. They're not ready. And you're kind of like, okay, what does this mean? Are the resources going to change again before we can move forward? Am I going to have to give up on what I thought we could do and do something different? I feel like what they're saying you need to do at this point is just help your partner through the five stages of grieving. It may even seem like that seem like that's like you might look at it like, well, nobody died. Like, why do we have to go through the five stages of grieving? Because they weren't they they're grieving what they've lost. To them, they didn't want this to happen. It's that's what they're going through. I just feel like you're not going to be able to successfully go forward until they're over this, and so they till they start working through it and get through it. So they're saying for you. You don't have to be all like all on them, like, oh, poor you. But, you know, being a little bit more compassionate, acknowledging how they feel, but also kind of directing them towards the future at the same time. Like, that was great, and this is why that was great, but this is where we're going, and this is why where we're going is also going to be a good time. Like, I feel like you're going to, it's going to take some time for you to really start coaxing them out of the past and into the future. It's going to take more time than you want. When you finally are able to do that, you're going to have to work with new resources is what I'm getting. And I see that's kind of the devil card here with the realization, kind of like I was, I'm okay with moving forward to the next stage. Like you were literally okay with moving forward to the next stage. And you're like, this is everything I can do with this next stage. Let's do it. But when you realize your partner can't do that right now, you're kind of like, all right, I'm going to have to slow up. I'm going to help them get used to this. And once they are used to this, then we'll have to see what, what, what's available at that point, And then I'll have to reevaluate it, pull it together, and then we'll go forward based on what we can at that time, whenever that time may be. I think we're good. All right, that's how this one is ending. 
Um, I don't know. I, th I mean, that was a good. It's good for information, but it's like, is that uplifting? I hope that was uplifting. <laughs> uh, I feel like your partner's going. For those of you that hit for, I feel like the whole point is like to give you the heads up sooner rather than later that your partner's having a real issue, so that you can handle it and help coax that forward. I feel like that's the whole point. All right, let's go. Aquarius singles. When I'm feeling Aquarius singles, um. I feel like you want to have a bit more fun. I feel like you're not really serious. Like you want something a little more fun. You're, you're not looking to have something super serious right now. You don't want to like jump into a bunch of restrictions or, you know, anything like that. You don't want to get into a really heavy, intense situation. You want something more fun. You want to start off with the joy. Um, a little more lighthearted is my first thing I'm pulling into. Lighthearted. I'm really getting the lighthearted thing here. You got the High Priestess at the bottom. Let's shuffle the Oracle cards. You got some rough cards here. Like, what's up? <laughs> what's going on? You want something more lighthearted. I'm getting that again. Something more lighthearted. And I feel like, um, see, that's the problem. Uh, that's an issue. One and two. I think we're going to do two cards. I, yeah, I don't think this is going to work for you. In the sense of like this, there's somebody like, you want something more lighthearted. There's somebody that, had, that you're interested in. Yet at the same time, you seem to stay away from this person. There's either a lot of restriction where you can't get close enough or you're like, they're constantly busy and you won't be able to see them that much, them, whoever they are. Or it's like there's so much, like if you get involved with them, you're going to end up so busy in their life too that it's just kind of like, it just seems too much. It just seems like there's too much going on there, too many responsibilities. It's just kind of like by dating that person and trying to get into a relationship with that person, you take on a whole wagon of responsibilities that you don't really want is what I'm getting. Because I'm getting this at the, the Nine of Swords at the top. Like... I could start something with this person, but there's so much responsibility that comes with that. There's so much. Um, for some of you, it's just flat out restriction. Kind of like this person you like, they work a lot and they travel too. It looks like it's mostly the situation. Like they're not available. Like this person, one of the reasons you don't want to go towards them is because like you'll see them two, three times a week if you're lucky and not for that long. Um, and you're like, I don't know if I really want that. That's not really what I'm looking for. Like an hour here, 15 minutes there, once in a great while. Like, I don't know about that. Um, I do see like, see this person you're, that's around you has the, the Ten of Wands. Like they have a lot going on. They have a lot they have to take care of, a lot of burdens, but they success, excuse me, they successfully handle it. But like adding you in, you would be restricted. Like they're, they're, they have a goal and they have things to take care of and they're going to keep doing that. They will add you in, but there's a restricted feel here. And there's a lot, like, I feel like you're looking at this, like, if I get involved with this person, I'm going to actually help them carry that up the hill. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't end up in a relationship and just let watch somebody go through these struggles. I would help them with their struggles. But you're also kind of like, I don't, I don't think I want a part of these struggles. <laughs> um, in the center, you have the Six of Pentacles with the world. I do feel like for a second, for a moment... You try. You just, you're just kind of like, let me let me get a flavor. Let me get a taste. Let me get a taste of this. Let me get in there and find out what they're dealing with. Let me just get a little taste. A little taste. Maybe maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's not as bad as I think it is. Because you got the Six of Pentacles with the world, which is telling me you get a little taste of it. Now, how you're getting the taste may be information-wise. How you're getting the taste may be like, tell me what you're going through. Tell me what you go through in your day. You, I don't mean that you have to be like, hand getting your hands dirty helping them with what they're doing but at the very least you're like tell me what you're doing i need a, I need a little better taste to understand exactly what you're handling and how your life is to know if i want to be a part of this i don't know if you're putting it that blank that blank that point blank point but you notice the world is there right after it literally i feel like once you find out you get a little bit more details and you're like 
no, no, that's what I thought this was. In fact, it's even less appealing than it was a minute ago. <laughs> it's less. It's just like, the more you hear, the less you want anything to do with it. This person's great. There's nothing wrong with them. But it's like, I don't, I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want that life. I don't, like, what that's going to entail to be a part of their life, you're like, no, it's not for me. The world card is telling me you're walking away. You're, you're ending it. And I'm getting the Ten of Swords here. It's like, you're, you're very, it's like, it's very disappointing, but you're like, I don't want a life like that. It's all I keep feeling when I'm connecting to this. It's like, I don't want to start seeing this person and then end up with a life like that. That's the whole thing. If the person is great, the life they have, no. I don't want that. The Ten of Swords is telling me you're extremely disappointed. You're devastated that this is how it is. But you're like, I want the one, but not the other. <laughs> if I can take this person out of that life and put them in a different life, that would be better. But that's not going to happen. You, like the world card, but like literally, you got the Eight of Wands at the bottom. Like you're just, you're out. You're out. And I feel like this person is kind of like, they're coming back towards you. Like I don't see you telling them like I don't want to see you again. I don't see you doing that. But I feel like the wheel is turning when they realize like you've made your choice. You've got the high priestess. You evaluated what the good and the bad is here and you've made your choice based on what you've seen and what you want going forward. The high priestess makes her own choices. Now, no matter what your gender is, this is saying you're standing in a spot where you're making your own choices. You've evaluated it. You've looked through it. You've, you've seen what this was. And this person, I don't see you being mean. Like I feel like that's why you're not flat out telling them that you're not interested. I don't see you coming forward. I feel like you're listening to them, letting it be, and then just kind of like letting it go. Like you don't, you're just, I don't feel you coming forward aggressively saying I'm not interested or I'm not going to be a part of this. I feel like you're just listening to them, letting them to say what they need to say, but you're making your decision and you're just kind of like, and I'll just go away. Thank you. Um, I don't see you coming forward and just flat out telling them until, until they come back against or towards you. The wheel comes forward, but the resistance also hits it. They seem to like you. And they're, they're wondering if you want to be a part of their life, if you'd like to see each other more exclusively. I'm getting resistance with the wheel. The wheel is turning, but I feel like it's turning for them in a way that they don't like. This is ending the situation is what I'm getting. The resistance is kind of like the wheel is coming forward saying you need to make a choice, left or right, what you're going to do. And they ask you if you want to see them more exclusively is what I'm getting. And you're like, I do not. Um, you didn't want to be flat out like that about it but you're t they are asking you and you're telling them the truth is what I'm getting now when you say that like you got the four of pentacles here with the the three of wands you already made up your mind by the time this comes forward the wheel the wheels coming in saying you have to deal with this person you have to let this person know it's like Fate is coming forward and saying, here's the opportunity to move forward if you want to. And you're like, well, I've already made up my mind. So you're pretty much just letting this person in and letting them know that you're not going forward. That's the wheel turning. Like you're not expecting this moment to come forward. Fate is coming forward saying this person saying, hey, you want to start seeing each other more exclusively? You're like, no, I do not. Um, however, that's coming forward for you. I literally feel like this is not going, this moment does not feel like it's a fun one. I don't feel like they like that. I feel like they're a little put off by it, quite frankly. It does not, the energy does not feel nice. That's all I can say with that. It does not feel good. It feels a little aggressive. I literally feel like however this ends between you and this person, you're very upset about it yourself even. And the action is telling me you're moving completely on from this person. You're, I feel you completely just dis disconnecting with the action card. I feel like this is heading for a bitter end quite frankly. Um, I feel like when this person comes towards you and they want to start something and you tell them I'm not interested, I just feel this energy gets very rough. Because of that, it becomes a bitter end and you just, you're completely out. Done. Again, the Ten of Swords, you're not happy how this ends. It just, it's not good. They're telling me not to sugarcoat it, so I'm not gonna. So I'm gonna let that go there. Um, Thank you for watching. I hope that helps. If you'd like a reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.